Welcome DIYers to another episode of DIY.life. And in this episode, we're gonna be unboxing a Retrospect Harper Coaster Fixie City Bike. We're gonna take it for a spin and I'm gonna give you my first impressions. Real quick, I wanna send a shout out to Wolf MTB. It's a friend of mine's passion project. And if you're into mountain biking, you gotta hit their Instagram account. And if you go to his website and use promo code ENJOY15, you can score a shirt like this for 15% off. Back in July, I had a couple of bikes stolen from my garage. I know, it sucks. I have to say, since then, I've been scouring the internet looking for replacements. And I gotta tell you, since the pandemic and with all the tariffs and there's just a bike shortage out there. I can't find anything in stock and what I can find in stock seems overpriced. And I guess manufacturers are raising prices because of the high demand of bicycles right now. And so I was getting a little discouraged. And then I got an email from Retrospect a couple days before Black Friday. I guess it was like a pre-Black Friday email. And I saw that they were offering a bike for $176. And I looked at it and it looked pretty cool. And it was $176. And that means I could get two bikes for the price of a gravel bike that I was looking at. And without a lot of research, I went ahead and added two of them to my cart and checked out. Um, yeah. Uh, then I went on YouTube and watched a couple of unboxing videos for the Harper and saw that for the most part, people were pretty happy with them. Um, but to be honest, I didn't wanna spend a lot of money on a bike because I'm scared it's gonna get stolen again. And I'm also super curious what a $176 bike is actually like. Is it rideable? Is it awesome? Is it upgradable? Is it complete trash? If I end up liking this bike, I'm probably gonna do some gravel bike upgrades to it, like swap out the tires, swap out the pedals, the handlebars, and I'm even considering installing a Shimano Nexus three-speed hub so I can get up and down some hills. Um, if I do those upgrades, check out the video right here. Another DIY mod I wanna to do to the bike, specifically to the matte paint, is to apply some gloss enamel and using these stencils, put a design element on the frame. In the print world, this is called a spot gloss and you can do polka dots or checkerboards or even like Gucci logos. Um, so when that video is ready to go, check it out right here. All right, enough talking about it. Let's get this box open and see what's inside. All right. I ordered the bike on November 22nd and it got here on December 2nd, which means it took about 10 days to get to me, which is actually pretty good considering it's this big and everything and how much of a demand bikes are right now. Um, so it arrived in pretty good shape. I'm pretty impressed with the exception of this side where we had a couple blowouts. Um, you can see my axles popping out here, but luckily they put a protective plastic cap on it to protect that one. Um, this one didn't have the protective cap, but I looked at it, I think it's okay. So for the most part, from the exterior, it seems like it was packed fairly well. Um, so let's go ahead and open the thing up. From here I can see that the bike is actually the right color. I was a little worried that it might have showed up uh, wrong color, but uh, so far so good. So let's pull the whole thing out. That's pretty much everything right there. So it looks pretty well packaged and organized and zip tied and protected. Let's get all this stuff off and we'll see what's underneath. All right.
Now that I've got all of the major components kind of separated out here and laid out, um, it's actually a pretty straightforward process. There isn't a whole lot to this because, you know, it's got the coaster brake, which doesn't require me to mess with any brakes. Um, really all it is is uh, attaching your, your um, handlebars, your saddle post, and the pedals and the front wheel, and you're ready to ride. I mean, pump up those tires and you're good to go. So um, let's take a look at what comes in the box. So we have a retrospect user manual. We have installation instructions, which I pre-read, so uh, I probably don't need those. Um, set of pedals. Plastic, by the way. And looks like we got some tools here. They give you this kind of universal wrench and a couple of uh, Allen wrenches. And it looks like they give you some extra reflector brackets or something. But I think all I need are these two. Oh, um, one other thing you'll need, which the instructions call for, is a little bit of uh, grease. Some of these components need to be lightly greased before you uh, install them. So I've got some over here. Here's my grease. It's just like an all-purpose kind of stuff here. Uh, so what do we want to do first? Well, let's go ahead and um, let's see. I kind of like how it's standing up on its own. So maybe we'll do the tire last and we'll do everything else. So let's go ahead and do the seat post. And it says to put some grease on the seat post, which is a little silly, but I'll do it. That was easy. Um, next, let's do the handlebars. Actually, huh, this is actually quite important. The forks are going the wrong direction. So we need to rotate the forks 180 like that. Now we can tighten it down. Okay. Let's open up these pedals. And they're labeled right, left. They got stickers on them telling you which way. And the instructions say that the right one goes clockwise and the left one goes counterclockwise. Oh, almost forgot. They want you to grease these things too. Just a little bit of grease. Ah, almost forgot. This one goes left. Counterclockwise. Very important. Okay, that's good. Now we'll do the front tire. And it's hard to tell which direction the tire goes. So I'm looking at the tread on the back tire and I'm just making it go the same direction as the back tire. So that's this way. And the only thing here is the tire has these safety hooks 
these like safety washers that hook into this little notch, this little hole in the frame, in the uh, fork here, so that, you know, if you're hauling down the road and your uh, bolts come loose, your wheel won't go flying off on you. At least that's the idea, I think. And we'll align the safety pin and we'll just do a little hand tighten. Make sure it's centered between the forks. Tighten that one down. And that about does it. I mean, that's really all that's to it. It's pretty much ready to ride. You just put a little bit of air in the tires and it's good to go. Um, and it doesn't seem to be too terribly heavy, so that's good. Um, it comes with this um, clear plastic chain guard and but it doesn't come with any mounting hardware or actually that's probably what those those black clips are but uh, it doesn't mention those in the installation or the um, assembly guide so plus I don't want to install it I don't, I don't care about those things I don't care for those things anyways um, so um, let's get some air in these tires and let's take it for a spin, see how it rides. Uh, we're gonna, just gonna take it for a little spin around the parking lot here. All right, let's get this out of the way. I'm still getting used to the coaster brake. Sometimes I press on it and I don't realize that it's on. Um, Uh, but in general, the bike itself is quite nice to ride. I'm pleasantly surprised. I thought I had about a 50-50 chance of getting a rideable bike for $176. But um, it's surprisingly nice. Um, I did notice it seems a little short lengthwise. Uh, but luckily when I got to work, I checked the saddle and I had another couple centimeters to slide the saddle back. So that fixed that problem. Um, I don't really care for the handlebars too much. I'm probably gonna replace those. I just don't like the position of, the, of my hands. Um, the grips, I thought the grips looked really cheap when I first took them out of the box, but they're kind of growing on me. Um, the bike itself sounds really smooth and feels really smooth when it rides. Uh, think what else oh the gear ratio so I did notice the um, the gear ratio on the bike is a little bit higher than my last fixie uh, which means startups are a little tougher but once you get moving your feet aren't moving quite so much which is kind of nice yeah all in all I'm very impressed I'd buy this bike again That about wraps up this video. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you're considering the retrospect, leave a comment or question below and I'd be happy to answer. Subscribe to my channel and we will see you next time.